Hello, my name is Gene Monterostelli and welcome to day 17 of our 30 day tapping challenge, where we're taking a couple of minutes every single day to do a little tapping to get ourselves a little more grounded so we can navigate our day in a more thoughtful, deliberate way. If this is the first day you're joining us, thanks for coming along. If you've been with us all month, I'm hoping that you're getting as much out of this as I am doing this every single day. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little tapping for those times where it feels like life isn't going as planned and that ends up undermining our confidence. And how can we feel confident even when things aren't going right? Tap on the side of the hand, take a nice big deep breath. Take another nice big deep breath. And just move from tapping point to tapping point. I recognize the fact. My life isn't perfect. Because nobody's life is perfect. And that's okay. But there are times when things just are not going my way. I have mistake followed by mistake. I have failure followed by failure. And when that happens, it's really easy to believe that that is how it's always going to be. And it erodes my confidence. It makes it hard for me to believe in myself, to believe in my action, hard for me to believe in the outcome. And I appreciate the fact that there is a part of me that's trying to keep me safe from failure. Because if I'm not feeling confident, then I don't take action. And if I don't take action, I can't fail at that action. And I know that's not true because not taking action will lead to failure as well. I give myself permission to be honest with my mistakes. I give myself permission to be honest with my failures. But I also recognize the fact I'm not defined by these failures. These failures are not who I am. And it is possible for me to be honest about my choices and to still have confidence. Not irrational confidence. Not a magical belief that everything's going to be perfect. But I can see myself for who I am. I can see myself for what I'm capable of. And I give myself permission to trust myself. Even knowing failure is possible, I can trust myself and my action. Nice big deep breath. Now tapping on that one of two things are happening. Either one, you are ready to go take some action, go do that right now. The other is you actually might feel a little more scared, a little smaller. And if that's the case, that's great. We've just tuned in a little bit more into the issue that is there that's holding you back. Go back to the beginning of the video. Go through this again. Continue to get yourself clear, to be comfortable and honest with your mistakes, knowing they don't define you. Because when you do that, it's going to be so much easier for you to take authentic action and move forward in a thoughtful and deliberate way.
If you enjoyed this little tap along, I'd really encourage you to check out the Tapping Q&A podcast at the moment. We have over 130 hours of free resources waiting there for you. Tap Along Audio's interviews with some of the brightest minds in change work and transformation from around the world. Instruction on how you can get the most out of your tapping. Everywhere you get audio, just search Tapping Q&A, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Spotify. You can find it just about everywhere. Follow us on Instagram, Tapping Q&A. We regularly put up new free resources there. And follow the arrow, click the red button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and most importantly, turn on those notifications so each time a new video comes out, you are notified right away so that you can continue your healing and transformational journey. Finally, if you know someone in your life who'd appreciate this, be our ambassador, pass it along. There might be someone you know who needs to hear this today. For Tapping Q&A and the 30-Day Tapping Challenge, I'm Gene Montristelli. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.